Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue getting some practice with subtracting real numbers. The problems will get a little bit more complex here, but not too bad. What if you had, inside of parentheses, 15 uh, minus 25, and then outside you had a minus and another set of parentheses, 7 minus 10. Now, how do you think we handle this? Now, you have to start applying lots of things that you've learned here. Okay, first of all, you know that when you have parentheses, you really always need to do what's inside the parentheses first. That's the order of operations we talked about. So let's go ahead and do the 15 minus 25, and we'll do the 7 minus 10, and then we'll, we'll mess around with this subtraction much, much later. So what is 15 minus 25? 15 minus 25. Now, we've been doing it all along as writing it as 15 plus a negative 25, but now we're going to start to, to get rid of our training wheels a little bit Inside of this first thing, what do you think it's going to be? 15 minus 25 is the same thing as 15 plus a negative 25. So we're adding positive negative, right? So what you do is you subtract them as usual. So 25 minus 15 is going to give you 10. And the sign is going to go with the larger absolute value. So really, this is a positive number, and this is really a negative number, the negative 25. So the answer here is going to be negative. So another way of looking at subtraction is anytime you see subtraction, you always subtract the numbers. Always. And then you just stick the sign of the larger absolute value on. And that's kind of what we've been doing the whole time. Now, over here, we're going to have inside of here another subtraction. Now, you can write it as adding a negative 10, 7 plus a negative 10. But another way to think about it is, okay, this is subtraction. So even though it's 7 minus 10, that's a little bit weird. We're going to do the subtraction with the larger number first. So 10 minus 7 is going to give me a 3. And the sign is going to go with the larger absolute value, which is this is a positive 7. This is a really a negative 10 here. So you're adding 7 plus a negative 10. And so the negative of the 10 is going to stick with the answer.